Pavel, I need your help. Sherman, what's up? I need a new radio. Can you recommend me something? Come on, why don't you just get the Radio Master Boxer? Yeah, I know Boxer is great, but I need something slightly smaller, preferably with integrated antenna and easily detachable gimbal sticks. You know what? I might have something just for you. Come on. Yeah, I do. But first, let me do something about this shirt, because somehow, yeah, this is not my style. Much more like it. The thing I want to show you is the Radio Master Pocket, the latest Radio Master HTX compatible radio. And it was clearly inspired, which is not a bad thing, by the DJI Remote Controller 2. Without any further ado, let's take a look at the Radio Master Pocket and let's see what goes where. That's the Radio Master Pocket. And as you can see, it's the small and compact HTX and Express TLRS or 4 in 1 compatible radio. Named Pocket because of the small size. However, I tried, it doesn't really fit in any of my pockets. Maybe if I had cargo pants, but this phase of my life is gone. On the outside you get the standard controls. Two gimbals, both are by default Hall Effect gimbals. The pocket is not shipped with standard potentiometer gimbals at all. On top of that, on the front side, you get the LCD screen and a set of buttons to control every function of the radio. Pay attention to those little joysticks. This one and this one. Those are trims. There are no standard trim switches anywhere. You trim if you want to using those joysticks. And of course, standard buttons, roller and the speaker in the front. On this side you get the headphones jack, USB-C for charging and the SD card slot. On this side you get a foldable and rotating antenna, so you can easily have the antenna in the vertical orientation. Yes, you should have the antenna in the vertical orientation. This is the correct orientation for the antennas on the RC models. This is bad. This is good. You get the trainer jack, you get the USB-C for programming and switches. Two position switch A, reposition switch B, reposition switch C, two position switch D, momentary button switch E and the potentiometer S1. There's only one potentiometer on the radio, but let's be honest, if you want something small, then most probably one potentiometer is still too much for you. This video was created thanks to my Patreons and YouTube channel members. Thank you guys, you're the main reason this channel keeps going. If you're not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. You will support the channel and of course get some perks in return. Thank you, highly appreciated. If we turn the radio on, and by the way, I disabled the backlight on the LCD because we would not see anything, you will get a standard set of controls for the HTX. Everything is absolutely like on any other HTX or OpenTX radio. The thing worth mentioning is that the switch A and the switch D had additional confirmation when they are engaged, because look what happens when I press the switch A, the green light goes off over here, and the same happens for the switch D over here. And because I got the Express LRS version, I can use Express LRS whenever I want. It came shipped with the Express LRS 3.0 and speaking of the Express LRS it is 250 milliwatts max. Of course only in the FCC mode because the EULBT users will get only 100 milliwatts on the output's power but this is our local regulation. The gimbal sticks are of course detachable and on the back panel there are slots when you can have them stored. And finally below those rubber grips you get the place for the standard lithium batteries and some screws that you can use to adjust the gimbals. The verdict? Well, it's definitely yet slightly too early to say if the Radio Master Pocket is the next radio you should get. We just do not know yet if any problem will start to appear while people will be just using the radio. You know, the problem of a scale. However, after being able to play with the radio for a few days, I do have to say that I like it 
as long as you are really looking for a small and very compact radio. Because let's be honest, this radio in the super small form factor features basically every feature that any big and heavy HTX compatible radio has. It just has everything, only slightly smaller and more compact. Integrated and foldable antenna, out of the box. Hall F8 gimbals, they are there in every version of Pocket. Powered with 18650 lithium batteries and enough of the switches to really satisfy almost every case. And for transportation, you can just remove the gimbal stick, put it in the dedicated place in the case and the radio is even smaller. However, for my personal preference, the Radio Master Pocket is suboptimal in a few places. The place number one is that I find it hard to get a good pincher grip on the radio. And because I'm a pincher, that's kinda problematic. I'm not saying you cannot get a pincher grip, because that would be a lie, but the radio was clearly designed for tumbers. This, however, is my personal opinion on the subject. And there is something like a safety issue. Whatever you do, do not assign anything critical for this switch over here. Because look what happens when you by accident turn the antenna. It switches the switch. So if you assign the arming to the SC and you just bump the antenna when it's folded, your drone might arm itself. Absolutely something to remember. Be very, very careful of what you assigned to the SC, because it might switch without you realizing that. And those are problems or rather inconveniences I was able to find when using the Radio Master Pocket for the last few days. Nothing major, but still they are there. Everything else works just fine, but you do have to remember that this is a reasonably priced entry-level radio. Because you know, 65 bucks for the full-blown HTX and Express LRS radio, that is a good price. And if you want, you can always blink your pocket by buying those transparent color cases. By default, the pocket comes in transparent black, but you can get blue, pink, green and orange cases as well. Just a standard clamshell. You just port the electronics from your original case to the new colorful one. If you of course want to, because nobody forces you to do so. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying! <laughs>